Jesse's Top 40. You know, in just two weeks, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame finally opens in Cleveland. And among the things fans will find there are more than 4,000 pieces of rock memorabilia. After years of careful planning, the $92 million Rock and Roll Hall of Fame will open its doors to the public on September the 1st. And inside, there'll be over 50,000 square feet of exhibits. Some of them are state-of-the-art, featuring film, TV clips, and sound bites. And others feature thousands of one-of-a-kind treasures, relics from throughout all of rock history. There's a T-shirt made by Larry Mullen Jr., the drummer for U2, in his high school art class. Stage outfits worn by Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones. And shock rocker Alice Cooper's thigh-high boots. Other rare items include a personal scrapbook of clippings and articles that Elvis Presley kept. A pair of Roy Orbison's trademark sunglasses. John Lennon's Sergeant Pepper uniform. And Jim Morrison's Cub Scout uniform. Museum curator Jim Henke says that in looking for rock relics, he found that every band seems to have one member who's a pack rat, someone who keeps everything stored away in the attic or garage. And those musical pack rats were able to donate much of what's turning into the biggest collection of rock memorabilia in the world. The Hall of Fame opens on September 1st, and a day later, to celebrate the occasion, there'll be a huge superstar concert in Cleveland Municipal Stadium. It'll feature acts like John Bon Jovi, Chuck Berry, Johnny Cash, Al Green, The Kinks, Jerry Lee Lewis, John Mellencamp, and Bruce Springsteen. And it'll be simulcast on TV by HBO and on radio by Westwood One. That's our report on one of the biggest musical events of the year, the opening of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Now, on with the countdown. Casey's 